I'm in the Boinks booth with Bastian Wolf, and uh, I never know what's going to happen when I talk to Bastian. I'm a little afraid. <laughs> Neither do I, to be honest. He said he was going to talk about the taco you had for lunch, but I'd really like to hear more about uh, Boinks TV. Okay, yeah, well, it's your choice. We could go that way. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, we, we were, we were um, coming up with Boinks TV 2, which is one version further than Boinks TV 1, of course, and it's going to change a lot. <laughs> you don't like my glasses? I can't see a darn thing with your glasses on. <laughs> Let me put mine back on. Okay. Okay. So, um, Take yeah. it from the top. For, assume people have never heard of Boinks TV. Okay, Boinks TV is a video production, live video production software. It does uh, like camera switching. It does chroma keying, titling, lower thirds, whatever you want to do. In and when it comes to live video production, it probably does it. And so think about cr um, doing I don't know a, a conference, doing a webcast, doing. Do, doing a news show or doing you might have heard of this thing called podcasts you're doing a video podcast for example you would want to use something like Boinks TV or you would only want to use Boinks TV let's put it that way That's something like Boinks, yeah, Boinks TV. I mean it's like the best of the best and um, you can create uh, all the all the graphics all the titles all the camera switches while you are recording this that means the second you're done recording you're done with a with a post-production because you did the post-production as a live production while you were shooting it that you know that takes the the time you you would um, need for post producing it. Uh, well, nobody just, likes post production. Yeah, I mean many many people get paid for it, but <laughs> but they still don't like it. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> probably the case. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. All right. So this is uh, we're looking at. So this is audio and video. So we're looking at uh, uh, our friend uh, Akim mm -hmm. wearing a, for some reason wearing a green shirt in front of a green screen. And, uh, well, there, what else we see in here? Yeah, so right now he's chroma keyed, mm -hmm. um, so as, as good as is possible. And for the that, audience, chroma key means? Uh, removing the, the background, in that, in that case a green background from the image and replacing it with something completely different. So as you can see, for example, we have this uh, spinning globe that is behind him and we can turn it off and on. We have a background, a greenish background that we can mm -hmm. switch on and off. You could also put in an, an image there, a photo or a fake 3D studio, you could put it behind behind I it. I love that look when people do that. I think it's cool. <laughs> yeah, totally. And I mean it we do chroma keying, but you can just uh, connect straight straight connect cameras and switch between different cameras. So we have mm -hmm. different cameras set uh, set up where, here. Where was that camera from? Yeah, it's the the hidden camera. This it's one really that's, freaking that's me out. There. Oh, okay, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um, what we're showing here is we're mixing, mi sorry, we're m mixing, mixing and matching. That's the that's the word. Cameras. So we have the the big black magic camera over there, but then we're mixing them with the Logitech um, C930 and C920 cameras, which are USB cameras. So the the black magic camera comes in over SDI using a black magic uh, mini recorder, and those cameras are direct connected directly to the Mac um, with without um, without any any further hardware. The other thing we can also do. Um, is we can connect an iPad um, just via USB to the to the computer and get the, the iPad screen. So you could of course play games, which who doesn't love playing playing games? But you could also like run your PowerPoint off that and do your your keynote or your. I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh God. I'm so such or a, a demo that you're doing. Yeah. For example, and um, you can you can do your presentation or your webcast right from there and s since we're talking about webcasts Boinks TV 2 is going to have built-in streaming so you you base, for example choose I want to stream to YouTube and then you you do your live stream right to use YouTube so uh, will it work with uh, a Google Plus hangout then no it, it's it's going to be a direct stream so you just put in your YouTube credentials and it will YouTube also does streaming without hangouts which oh, is, they do yeah oh I didn't know that it's pretty hidden in their user interface but they <laughs> luckily they have an API so you, we can take care of that to, to set it up and if you don't like YouTube you can u use Ustream or any other um, streaming provider that does the standard streaming stuff what they all do yeah I had to leave uh, well Justin threw us out right they when they went all gaming and yeah, Ustream yeah. got a little uh, the ads were getting pretty annoying yeah. and so I went over to, to Google Plus for my live yeah. show right yeah. now but I don't do it but that that records me to YouTube but it doesn't make a live YouTube well yeah you can you can do that over a hangout in air Right, that's what I'm doing. But it's, I mean, it's the, the, the setup for me is kind of weird. And l like this, you will only have to log into YouTube and it does the magic um, behind the scenes. And you have a live stream and you can still record at the same time to your disc. So if you want to edit something out later on, because sometimes stuff happens, you know. <laughs> I never make any mistakes yeah. when I'm recording. Yeah, well, but other we're, people. You're not all as perfect as you are. Exactly, exactly. 
So um, there's a bunch of controls across the bottom here too. What is it? What is all that? So down there we have the the layers that ship with Boings TV. That thing. That, so. Uh, Boing's TV is layer based, as in Photoshop, for example. So if you put something on top of, of the other thing, um, it's going to be in front of it and the other way around. I can show you, for example, with a spinning globe behind Achim. So if I take the globe and place it on top of the, of the video that displays Achim, let's make it a little bit easier to see. Now it's in front of him. If I, if I drag it right below him, it's behind him. So at, oh wow, and that's all doing that real time. Yeah, it's it's doing that real time in 1080p and I think 60 frames a second. So that's 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 pretty cool. And um, so these the, the things at the very bottom are the layers that come with Boing's TV. So it, it does a lot like like really cheesy there's, stuff. There's sort of but you got like templates I can see. Uh, like you've got date and time and channel right. channel right. logo station logo Google Maps. So. so there's there's a lot you might need for your show. Maybe you need a, a Nozilla Cast station logo there. So you just import a graphic and put the station logo layer there, and you basically have your station logo as they have on a on a TV show. And is this something someone else controls while you're the on-air talent, right? It depends. If you're crazy like I am a little bit, then you control it while you're on the air um, by, for example, using an iPad. If you Achim, if you show the app again, the control app, um, the control app, yeah. You could you could use a a third party app and then for example shoot lower thirds just by by tapping a, a button and that does it from the iPad so you could in theory do that while in front of the camera I would suggest though because that's the way you don't get crazy you you have someone doing that while you were yeah well, I'm actually talking. looking to offload some work to Steve that's so good. Good. Um, right now I end up doing it all myself while I'm yeah. trying to record the show and I'm actually I'm creating a show while I'm yeah. doing all the work so. This is pretty impressive. Yeah, I, I like it. I use it for my own pod podcast, and, and for me, it works like a charm. Yeah, it looks really cool. So, Boinks TV 2 is coming out when? When it's done. Uh, there's there's going to be a, a public beta um, right after NAB. So, uh, we can... I we, can break everything. That's pretty good. We need people like that to make sure it doesn't break in the future. So, I hope you will not break it in the future. And we're talking about mid mid this year when we're, when we're going to release uh, Boinks TV 2. Um, unless something, so you break it too bad, oh, I don't know. <laughs> or in case it's just perfect when I test it. Yeah, that's probably the case. Oh, there you go. So uh, what's the price point of Boeing's TV? We haven't decided yet on a specific price point, but it's going to be in the realms of Boeing's TV 1. Uh, Boeing's TV 1 was uh, 4 dollars for the full version, and that's probably going to be the same uh, with Boeing's TV 2. We're planning on doing a subscription model as well. So if you say, I just need it, uh, I don't know, three months a year, you just rent it for three months, and that's pretty much it. That's an interesting way to go too. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, very, very good luck to you. And how do people find Boings TV too? They just go to boings.com and they will find every bit of information they will need to know about it. All right. And how about your podcast? Plug your podcast. Well, it's German. So if if you're speaking German, yeah, German. Well, I know another German guy. We know Klaus. Remember, we talked about him. Yeah. Right. You're right. So if Klaus is watching, uh, he can go to digitalupgrade.de, and this this is where we do the. Um, the stuff no one does with Boeing's TV because uh, it tends to break stuff. <laughs> so it's a little bit, it's, it's a different, we do actual real 3D studios with, with, our, with our German podcast and uh, it's a lot of fun. All right, sounds like fun. Talk to you later, uh, Bastian. Thank you, bye-bye.